Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about how to point our Google domain that we bought with Google to our hosting account, which is Bluehost. So you buy your domain with Google, you found a cool domain for your business. Now you don't host with Google, you currently host with Bluehost. This is how you, you would make that happen. How when you go to mydomain.com, your site will appear out of your Bluehost directory uh, that way you can share these resources so you don't have to host with Google if you own a Google domain if the same thing goes with everybody pretty much if you buy a domain with GoDaddy and you want to host with Bluehost or if you the other way around etc etc that this is the the steps that you would take to to get this to work so uh, the first thing that we are going to need are name servers name servers is what we're going to need from Bluehost now the name servers are going to point to Bluehost from Google because it's going to say, "Hey, whenever you go to mydomain.com, go uh, show this this uh, this directory, this hosting provider directory over here, our hosting uh, directory actually." So this information is actually located in um, if you go to your Bluehost login, you go to domains, and then down here you have uh, name servers option and these are your name servers right here there's two of them for Bluehost they're very simple NS1 and NS2 uh, now Google domains service uh, basically if you want to know how to get here you just you know type in Google domains I'm assuming you know how to get here already because you've already bought a Google domain so go to manage my domains um, we're going to want to go into the DNS tab. I already have this filled out, but when you open this up, it's going to it's going to just have this right here. These are Google's uh, name services. So right now, these are pointing to the Google Cloud, where you can host your your site if you would like. But this video is about transferring um, hosting for a Google domain. So if you use click on this, use custom name servers. You're going to want to edit these. Uh, like I said, these are, weren't filled out, so it probably gives you one line to start off with or two, I'm not sure. You want to put your first one in here. Google has four name servers on theirs, but Bluehost only has two. Usually there's only two or so name servers uh, for the providers. So if you put um, ns1.bluehost.com you know, we already know that the other one is NS2, so you can literally just do this. Once you save that, you're done in the Google side. It's super easy. Now your 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 domain, uh, mysite.com, is pointing at Bluehost. Okay, so that's half the work, which was really not that hard. Now back in this panel again, same panel. You're going to want to assign domain to your cPanel account. This is in where we're going to assign this specific domain to our specific host, hosting account because right now it's just pointing at Bluehost but it's not saying where on Bluehost. Um, so I am going to assume that you're doing this from scratch and it's your first time because this is a tutorial so um, use a domain that is not already associated with your account. Basically what you're going to want to do is put in the domain that you're trying to transfer over uh, right here and this, these options right here, um, an add-on domain is basically going to create a directory inside of your file manager that is going to serve your website. So this is a good, this is usually what I would pick because um, if I have multiple websites on, on this hosting provider, which I do, then I'm going to do an add-on domain. Uh, it's still going to go to mysite.com, but it's going to be served from master.mysite.com if that makes any sense to you or not. Now this is um, in the beginning when you do this you're going to have this option here it's going to be filled out um, create a new directory and it's going to have your website's name in here uh, my domain and then your subdomain is going to be your domain. This is already going to be filled out just leave it. Leave it alone um, all the default options they work just fine I'm changing these options here because I've already done this I'm just redoing it to show you the process 
Now once you click on assign this domain, it might look like it's frozen, uh, depending on your internet speed as well. Mine's not that great right now, but uh, it takes a little while to, to, to assign it, but basically your domain has been verified up here in the top step. It won't even go past this if it's not verified. So that means our name servers are pointed. That means that the domain is verified for me. And um, then the rest is just, you're choosing if you want to add it on or if you want to park the domain, which is, it points at the same directory as your, your primary domain. So if you have a master.domain.com and you park this domain, they're both gonna point at the same directory, serve the same site. So here we go. This is our um, done. This would probably say querying or something like that, and then it, it finishes, so it's added on. So now the best way to tell if if this worked, uh, what I would do would be to um, go to my site's cPanel, and then inside of the file manager, I should have a new directory now. And this new directory should be my new site, which is right here. So anything I put in here, if I put it index.html, index.php, a servable web page, uh, this will show up when I go to my domain. So if I type in my domain, here we go. Now it's hosted on Bluehost. And from here, it's business as usual. You basically, your domain's gonna stay on Google, which is fine. It doesn't need to go over to Bluehost. You just need to point it in the right direction. Now, if you buy domains and you have multiple sites, it's good to buy them all from the same domain. So if you started buying three domains and they're all on Google and you, you buy another domain on GoDaddy, it's not, you wanna keep them all on Google it doesn't matter where you host them because you can point them anywhere you want. You're just buying that name to cover up your IP address to serve your website. Um, and that's basically it, and it's business as usual. If you go into FTP, uh, you'll see when you go into public HTML, now whenever you transfer uh, files over to this directory, it will serve your website. And you'll have uh, your website up and running. That's Total process is less than five minutes altogether. I hope this helps somebody who's trying to uh, host their domain that they bought because <clears throat> they thought of a cool business idea and they bought a domain right away. Um, it doesn't matter where you buy your domain. You don't have to stress out or be picky about it. Just, just buy the domain and point it wherever you want. Thank you.